Here are my top three tips so that way you can work more efficiently within monday.com. Let's jump in. Hi, my name is Tara and I'm a certified monday.com partner and the founder of Simple Day. My goal is to help you build powerful yet simple workflows with monday.com. If you need help with a custom implementation, my contact details are in the description below. Let's jump into today's tutorial and make Monday the best part of your week. One of the most important things that I think people need to think about when they're using Monday is what do I need to do today? When someone walks into the office that morning, they need to know what is on their task board today. So that's why I am a big believer in having a task board. But above and beyond that, my first tip to staying really organized and working more efficiently and saving time is to always have a due date column. It's important that projects, tasks, whatever you need to do, have a due date. I don't care if it's a specific day, it's a timeline, it's the end of the week, the end of the month, whatever it is, have a due date. So we're gonna jump into this due date column that you see here. Obviously you need to create a date column which I'll get to in a minute, but I want to show you the setting that I set called deadline mode, which adds these extra icons, which in my mind, for someone who's very visual, makes it really easy to see, you know, if it's due right now, it's not due right now, I'm really behind, whatever the case may be, you also see this visually with these icons. So let me show you how to do this. First, you're going to hit the plus button and you're going to add a date column. Now, this is just a standard date column. You can see that if I set this task to August 15th, you can see this one as opposed to this one that is missing the icon. Again, I'll go to this task and I will set it to August 6th. And you can see that it's a regular date. Now, if I click on these three dots and click settings, I can click set as deadline. Now I need to choose a status column that's associated with it and a person column, and I'm gonna connect those columns. And now you see I have these icons. So these icons are visually pleasing. I think they indicate where you're, you're holding in terms of due dates. And it's also going to help me with my second tip, which is using views. But before I get to this, another reason why the due date is really important is if you're using my work, I don't use my work for other reasons, but if you're using my work, you can click up here and basically this pulls every single thing that you need. You can obviously see I don't use it and I've reached the maximum limit, but this pulls every single task on all your boards. The way that these groups are divided is by date. So if you don't have a date column and mark everything by date, you'll see you have everything without dates. So if you're using my work or you're just working on a board, it's really, really important to have that date column. That way you can know when things are due. Now, I started off this video talking about how it's really important what you need to do every single day. That being said, I recommend creating a view and you can see up here, I have different views called my daily view. First of all, what views are is a way to filter information. So you only see certain things. So what my daily view does is it filters the information. So that way I only see either what's due today or what's overdue, because I don't want to see the 25 other things that are on my task board. I just want to see what is due today or what I forgot to do. So just to show you how to create a view, I'm going to click the plus button and I click uh, create table. Now, if I want, I can rename this. It actually duplicated what was in the last view. So I'm just going to clear everything so you can see what, what I need to do. Now here I'm going to set the, I'm going to set the filters and I'm going to say where, let's see, due date, right? And I'm going to want it to be today or everything that is overdue. And then I have to hit save to this view. Now you can choose whichever filters you want. Like maybe you want to just hit what to do with this week, but without this deadline mode, you're limited in the type of filters that you can use. Because again, my whole point is that you should say what's due today and what's overdue. I don't want to look at what's due next week. If I did, I honestly can just save that, change this and I can you know, look at what's due this week or next week or whatever it is, and just save that as a different view. So tip number two, create views of the things that you need to do. It will save you time from scrolling through all these tasks. Like I could just scroll and trust me, this is just a demo board. My task board is much, much fuller. So it's just going to save me time from doing that. Tip number three is to use the update section and to mention people. This is the most effective way to communicate within a board within a task. Think about um, before you were using Monday, and 
I hope this is the case now, but it may not be. Someone sends you an email and then you get a WhatsApp message and then you get another email and it's all about one project. Like, don't you want everything associated with that project in one place? So that's what this update section does. Okay. I can add a comment here. So I'll just say like at Rosa, um, when will this be completed? Okay. And then I'm going to click update. So I mentioned her and now I have a running list of all of the communication and correspondence about this task. So I can save files here or if I want in the file column, but basically I have everything. The mention part is if you click mention, you can see I can choose someone or everyone on this board, everyone on my task. But basically I'm communicating in a very clear way on a specific task, telling someone this is what you need to do and this is what I need for you. So again, three tips to help you be more organized, work more efficiently and save time within monday.com. Always use dates. Don't forget deadline mode. Set up views so you can see exactly what information is important to you. And number three, use the update section and mention people on your team so you can tag them and they know what they need to do. Hope this is helpful in saving you time when you're using monday.com. Hit the like button if you enjoy this video and remember to subscribe to receive tips and tricks on how to use monday.com. Thanks so much for watching and I'll see you soon.